lists three different ways to write 7 to the 8th as the product of two powers. Explain why all three of your expressions are equal to 7 to the 8th. So remember that when we were on our last question, if we multiply 10 squared times 10 to the third, it's the same as 10 to the fifth. Well, let's think of some things that add up to 8. We could multiply 7 to the first times 7 to the seventh, because that would equal 7 to the 1 plus 7, which is 7 to the eighth. We could multiply 7 squared times 7 to the fifth, oh, sorry, sixth. I was looking at the 7 above it. And that would be 2 plus 6, which is 8. You could also do 3 times 7 to the fifth. Any combination of these that add up to 8 you can use. So when you are multiplying, and it be the product of two powers, you just need to make sure that they add together to equal 8.